Hello everybody, my name is Ardalan Qudavizadeh. In the previous lesson, I talked about the when and how we can purchase the bulk of saffron. And today, in this session, after purchasing the bulbs, what should we do? And because we just need to fungicide, the pesticide, we shouldn't. We should use the pesticide or fungicide. We shouldn't use. My recommendations is the pesticide and fungicide is for 20th century. But sometimes, uh, some the bulbs of saffron needs. These are, for example, the majority are disease. When the bulbs are small and the disease, they need the fungicide. And unfortunately, we are forced that use the fungicide. Okay, after purchasing the bulbs, when you their success in purchasing the bulbs, this is the time that before uh, putting in the bulbs in the wooden boxes or the your shelves or the plastic boxes or the hydroponic shelves or anything that you want to keep during the month. And I, as I told you, the best time for purchasing the bulbs at the end of the summer, after uh, purchasing the bulbs, the bulbs like this, you know, for example, in the, at the end of the summer, the bulb is exactly like this. You need to, if you want to, for example, if the major, if you are sure, if you are certain that all bulbs of saffron has, a, for example, the heavy and the range of the, uh, the range of the bulb is near the 20 gram, it doesn't need to using any fungicide or pesticides. But if you want to, Use the fungicide or pesticide. My recommendation for fungicide is to find out methyl for pesticides and for parging for the mites because the mites is a very famous in the bulbs of saffron. In the after purchasing the bulbs, you should be careful of the, the bulb of saffron. Some bulbs are, uh, you should be, all of the bulbs are healthy. For example, like this, okay? You should, with your two fingers, okay? and pressure and you can see please this is devoid of any of the bulbs completely destroyed and spoiled this bulb of saffron you know you should separate these bulbs in the separately and because these bulbs this that is this infected this is has destroyed also uh, transmit is transmitted to these other diseases to the healthy bulb. Okay, you shoot with your finger, and this also is very clear. You can see in the face of the bulb, for example, it's very completely healthy, but with the two fingers, a little pressure to the bulb. For example, this is healthy, it's very hard and it's very clear. After purchasing the book, after purchasing the bulbs, you should separate the extra pills extra pills and also extra pills like this you should keep the one layer in the bulb exactly like this because some people some of my uh, people that are in the video in the media completely separate these parts at least the, immediately after one month the bulbs will be destroyed exactly like this is enough okay and also for example for like this because the buds or sprouts, for example, this is the lateral buds. For example, this is the teach or sprout or buds, because this is the uh, lateral buds. But exactly like this, sprouts, exactly in this part, comes from this part and needs to oxygen, the humidity, the light for better penetrating. It is good like this okay and after that you can put in the wooden boxes this is exactly therefore after purchasing the bulbs they need to adapt patient in your chamber you should at the first step you purchase in the boxes because the company that sell the bulbs don't separate yourself separate the bulbs for example the other diseases for example in the two percent or one percent in the bulbs of saffron has a diseases and this is the normal but if the over 5% or over 10% of the bulb has for example has a fungal diseases like this has a fungal this is a normal that you should report to the company okay after 
purchasing the bulb you should separate the extra pills and like this the extra pills and like this this is the extra pills you should separate and you should recognize the healthy bulbs from the bulbs that are destroyed because this is completely other fungal diseases bacterial diseases and if you see the one bulb has a disease you should keep in the fungicides for example 500 for example 50 grams uh, 50 grams of fungicides in 100 liter of water you should salt and for five minutes it's enough putting the bulb in the fungicide or pesticides or mix of the fungicide methyl and after five minutes you should allow the bulb for drying because this is completely wet this is the after keeping in the putting in the fungicide you know this is completely wet it needs to 24 hours in the temperature room for example the 25 centigrade 28 centigrade and a little light you should in the surface after 24 hours this gradually dry i when i told you when i tell you dry i'm not in the 40 centigrade like a saffron like a, the, the other crop like a break i mean 28 centigrade i mean i mean this fat should be eliminated this fat gradually should be that's completely dry after drying the saffron in 28 centigrade because the bulbs after harvesting from the soils has a high humidity has a high humidity and high humidity is the best opportunity for the diseases for the fungal diseases and we shouldn't allow we shouldn't allow to any condition for fungal diseases what is the condition for the fungal diseases the high humidity high temperature when the temperature over the 28 centigrade the humidity in the first step because after the purchasing the uh, bulbs till until autumn one month we should store the bulbs of saffron in our shelves because in this session I would I want to talk about the after purchasing the box. After purchasing the box, it means September in the uh, northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. They should look the last months in the summer. The last months in the summer, we should keep the box of saffron in the room in the chamber in 25 centigrade, humidity 60 percent, and the CO2 3000 ppm without light. But after purchasing, they need one day with the light for drying because it has a high humidity. In the soil, we have the high humidity, 90% humidity, and the humidity is a very high. Okay, after purchasing, uh, separate the extra pills, separate the healthy bulbs. This is completely clear. This is the healthy bulbs, and we should separate healthy bulbs to unhealthy, to hazard diseases. And also, we should look to the weight of the bulbs of saffron. For example, if the 20 grams, if the 10 grams, we should separate 20 grams, 90 grams in the other shelves. The bulb that has a five, a fifth, because 10 grams, it doesn't work for us. For example, the range started for greenhouse, for the growing saffron indoors from the 15 grams to 25 grams. The bulb that has the 15 grams to 17 grams in one shelf, and in the wooden boxes and the bulbs that are heavy in the shelves because uh, the bulb that has a, for example the 15 gram or under 15 gram 12 gram 14 grams the chance that it comes the fungal diseases is a little high that when the disease comes to these 14 grams if we put together the 15 grams with 25 grams the bulb that has a fungal diseases with the 15 grams damages to the, even the healthy bulb with the heavy 25 grams. I told you the best criteria for the bulb of saffron is the weight. Finish. Also, the face should be clear. But the majority of the bulb that has a heavy, they are also healthy. After separating and uh, separating the pills, we should put in the wooden boxes. In the wooden boxes, if we are, if you purchase the bulbs at the, the last summer, the last months of the summer, you should keep to 25 centigrade and the humidity 60 percent. If you purchase the bulbs in the autumn, because in autumn the bulbs gradually will be appear. The bulbs, the sprouts of the bulb like this, 
in October if you purchase the some, the majority of bulbs has like this the sprouts because the main reason that I told you in the last of months of summer you should purchase the bulbs like is this the bulbs that you purchase exactly should be like this not like this because this is the alive this has doesn't have any activity without this is the without leaf without roof without uh, without leaves without roots without uh, sprouts in the transportation for example i must i have some trains that wanted from the other country has a 20000 kilometers need to two weeks seven days even five days if the bulbs doesn't have activity the chance of the sustainment sustainability of the bulb is very high and uh, the bulbs uh, the bulb doesn't uh, damage it doesn't damage in the uh, when we do not they doesn't have any activity but if the bulbs has activity like this there's a sprout if the chance of the uh, coming the fungal diseases bacterial diseases is very high and therefore you should purchase the bulbs the time that the bulb doesn't have any activity it means in the september the last month of the summer in the september in the uh, northern hemisphere okay in the if for example in, in the october you purchase the bulb 70 percent of your bulbs has a sprout has a buds and the buds in the transportation for example damage the cutting some cutting and it's not so good it is not good therefore when you purchase the bulbs in the summer one month you give time the bulb for adaptation to the bulbs with the, your environment your chamber some people for example in the september they want to go to the holiday and don't want want for example the work labor force some people they want to start in the middle in the first of the october and they want to they want to start with the 17th centigrade because they cannot control the temperature 25 centigrade in the september like region for example in this uh, saudi arabia dubai and then india in the Bangladesh, in the, the region the kuwait the, the, uh, the regions that is the hot uh, weird summer okay they want to the company that sell the bulbs themselves themselves control the temperature and october because the autumn the weather is very good and they want to start the growing saffron indoors in the october it's a little wrong my recommendation start growing saffron indoors in the last month of the summer and once once it is very necessary for keeping bulbs in your chambers after uh, uh, after purchasing after purchasing the bulbs one month is good, uh, enough for the bulb in 25 centigrade and the one month that is coming that is very important in the next session i will tell you about what should we do before flowering at the reproductive phase because in this session i told you about the vegetative phase the time the the last months of the summer separating you should separate and also healthy bulbs and keeping and in the wooden boxes in the october one month in the last session i will tell you about the growing saffron indoors in the reproductive phase that is very important please uh, stay tuned with me and subscribe when you subscribe to me and automatically my videos will be up here please back to my videos i have the i don't know i'm not about near the 200 videos around in the youtube please back to my uh, videos and i have started step to step also for example one year two years ago three years ago please back to my videos and step to step my videos also these during i think one month ago i have started very respectively to uh, training growing stuff from indoors step to step for example the building started I, I have a session in the youtube the video you can see the building the equipment how and when we can uh, purchase the bulbs do not forget uh, also you did, if you need to uh, subscribe and if you need my books the my books with the pictures 
is you, for purchasing my books, you can text me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp is 0098935825345. It is enough. Text me for books request. And also the people that uh, purchase my books, they have five days free online consultation. Everything in my book completely has been explained, but you can also use five days free online consultation after purchasing my books about the growing saffron indoors. Thank you. In the next session, in the, I think six days later, uh, we talk about the reproductive phase. Thank you.